bangs, also known as a fringe, are a great way that you can change your look. Today on My Friend Alex, I'm gonna explain to you what you need to talk to your hairstylist about before you get them. Before considering a fringe, everyone always asks, will it look good on me? And I do believe that everyone can look good with a fringe, as long as you choose the right one for you. So if I use Alex as an example here, the first thing that I want to assess is her overall style. So for her, she has a bit of like a classic bohemian look. And with her fringe, even her hairstyle right now, it's a little bit sort of 70s, a bit rock and roll. What a fringe does is it creates a focal point. So when I say that, I have a horizontal line right here. So what that horizontal line will do, it'll bring emphasis to the lower half of Alex's face. What her length is doing is I have vertical lines that are then drawing the eye downward. So these are things that you need to consider. For some people, like in Alex's case, her fringe starts a little bit shorter and then it gets a little bit longer through the sides. So what that's actually doing is it's making sort of the top half of her face appear a little smaller. If she wanted to um, make the top half of her head a little bigger, we could change the shape of the bang. It could come outward or it could even sit nice and high. Now, where you start and stop your bang is also important or something to consider. Because if I wanted to make Alex's face appear longer, I could make sure to have my fringe section all the way to the top here. Because then you wouldn't know where her forehead was to start and stop. So for someone that has a very small forehead, you wanna request to take your parting higher up. Now, the opposite is true. If you have a very high forehead, what a fringe does is it covers it and you can also make sure that you don't section too high so that it doesn't look like you're all forehead. So a lot of what a fringe does or a bang will do is it really creates focal points. Sometimes people don't like a bang if they have a very large nose or bigger features that they don't want to emphasize because you are creating a horizontal and then drawing attention to the rest of your face. One of the most popular fringe trends for 2019 is a curtain fringe, which Alex has a version of, but I'm gonna show you how to cut them. So let's get started. Some fringes I think you can cut at home because they're one length techniques. However, with this curtain fringe, you wanna ask your hairstylist. So hairstylist, this is for you. What you wanna begin with is sectioning off. So for Alex, I wanna make sure not to take her sectioning too high because it'll just elongate her face too much. So I'm gonna start just by sectioning. And you can even see I've made sure to have Alex come in with how she would normally blow dry her hair. So there's a little bit of a cowlick here and that's not too flat because if I flatten it too much, then all of a sudden it's gonna pop up when she goes to style it at home. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm cutting her fringe with it dry. Uh, if you cut hair when it's wet, all of a sudden when it dries, it could be a lot shorter than what you want. The other thing that I'm looking at is the growth pattern. So in Alex's hairline, you can see that her hair wants to grow to the side. So naturally the hair is gonna pool or sit a little fuller on this side. Another thing to consider would be the hairline. None of us are symmetrical, including our hairline. So you can see on Alex that her hairline sits a little bit lower here than it does on this side. So it's actually a good thing that her hair naturally wants to push to this side because you can see that even though she has less hair here, it still looks nice and full. The technique is to make sure that it's the lightest in the center. And by having it sit nice and light in the center, it's gonna push the rest of the hair out of the way. So for this, I'm gonna pull all of this hair into the middle of Alex's forehead. And you can see that I'm actually lifting it up. And by lifting it up, it's gonna sit a little softer than if I was to cut it down here. Down here, it's gonna sit very solid. So I'm gonna elevate this right up, pull it in towards the center, and I'm gonna cut. So by pulling everything into the center, what that does is it leaves these edges a little bit longer and softens this middle piece. The first step is complete. What I wanna see is that there's enough lightness in through the center. If there isn't, you can use a texturizing shear 
something like this, or a scissor and just point and break up the center. So with the texturizing shear, I'm just gonna pull everything back in. And just on the very edge, I'm gonna soften. Now we don't wanna leave the fringe like this because it's too small. A curtain fringe needs to have the side pieces. So for that, I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm going to section one more time. So Alex, if you wanna look down just a bit. So I'm gonna extend and include all of this hair here. So depending on your face shape, you may wanna include more hair than what I've sectioned off on Alex or even less. So now how I blend this in, I'm gonna take the last little piece from the outside edge from the center and I'm going to comb it towards the last piece. So you can see that was from my last little bit of my fringe and I'm going to cut and I'm slowly just going to slide my scissor across my finger until I get the length that I want to see on the side. And I'll do the same on the opposite side. So consider you want to section it so that it looks the same. However, as I mentioned before, our hairlines might not be symmetrical from side to side. So I always like to start so that my sectioning looks the same and then adjust as I need to. So once again, picking up the last remaining piece from the outside edge and then slowly cutting and sliding my scissor until I get the same length on either side. Alex's fringe has been cut, but I don't wanna just stop there. I wanna see how it looks with the rest of her haircut. So I'm gonna drop down the remaining hair that's been clipped away, and I wanna see how this is framing or sitting in with the fringe. So if I wanna maintain more of a vertical line, I'm gonna leave this piece of length long. If I want to draw more attention to Alex's cheekbone, what I can do is just blend in these pieces here. So I am just gonna use the tips of my scissor and I'm going to just sort of open up that part of Alex's face, but still leaving all of this long in through here. And there you have it, a curtain fringe for Alex in 2019. Hey, it's Morgan again. If you liked this video, make sure that you've subscribed. I have a new video like this coming to you every week. And while you're at it, share with your friends.